All right, so today we're gonna be building a horror movie icons display. Now, if you're new to the channel, new to the series, what we like to do here is try to make use of that limited space that we do have, cram as many figures as we possibly can to a little cubicle shelf. Along the way, talk briefly about each character. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. I hate horror movies. I'm not down with the gore. I'm not down with the demonic shit. Don't play with them energies. But, tis the season. These characters are super nostalgic to me. I gotta collect them all. I gotta have all the horror movie characters. Now the first step you're gonna wanna do before you do anything is make sure you wash your hands. Make sure your fingers is nice and clean before you touch any of these. Now we're gonna have to go in here and put all them Dragon Ball figures back in the boxes, back in the storage. It's a tedious process. We're gonna need to do it to make way for a brand new display. And then we're gonna wanna try to find a nice backdrop, something crispy, something to make it pop and you make it unique, you know? Now I wanted to go for like a red theme because it's a horror movie, it's bloody, gory, all that, you know? So we got a lot of comic book covers, comic pages. We can just throw it in there, chop it up, make it look nice. Tell me what you think. How do you feel about it? I think it looks real nice, but these are gonna get covered up anyways. You just want something in that background. You just want it to make it look nice, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead in here and we're gonna throw in this little paper Slender Man that I just made out of some cardboard paper, you know, like a cereal box type of cardboard. And I just made it. Like, you never really see Slender Man in 3D anyways. He's always just popping up in front of you and making the screen go blurry. Iconic. Next, we're going to talk about Pinhead, Hellraiser. Hate this guy. But he's iconic, especially to me as a kid. This guy creeped the hell out of me. Uh, I didn't like him, but he's an icon. He's you got to put him in there. So... Then we're gonna talk about the NECA IT. Now, I really do like the new movies as well. I'm not, honestly, I never really got down with the old movies, but this character, the classic IT, whew, come on, man. We're gonna talk about the NECA Freddy. I hate Freddy. He's probably my least favorite horror movie character of all time just because of his story. He's just a freaking weirdo, but he's an icon. He, he's iconic. You gotta have him in a horror movie display. Then we're gonna talk about NECA Ghostface. Probably one of my favorite figures. Definitely top 20, top 50 material. It moves beautifully. Looks great. All the accessories you need. It's an awesome piece. Definitely a grail. Now next we're gonna talk about the I'm not sure which Halloween movie this is. This might be the Rob Zombie franchise Halloween, Michael Myers. But a great figure. Of course, it could be a little bit. This is all NECA stuff. It could be a little bit more articulated. But it's a great piece. It's Michael Myers. What more do you need? It's Michael Myers. You know who that is. You see that mask? You see the knife? The jumpsuit? Then we're going to go in here and add the inbox Chucky doll now this NECA Chucky great piece great piece so many accessories just it comes with a little box you can put Chucky in there with like NECA goaded for that the ultimate Chucky great piece I highly suggest it if you don't have it the next we're gonna go in here and add Sam from the Halloween franchise this is actually the cloth goods version not as articulated I actually don't have the ultimate version but this guy right here super dope I remember the first time I watched this movie great movie perfect for the Halloween season must have you gotta have them in there also I switched around Chucky and Sam because just wasn't enough room over there so I had to kind of finagle make something happen then we're gonna go ahead in here and add Evil Dead 2 NECA Ash classic 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 uh protagonist 
in the horror movie series. I can't tell if I was going with a kind of a terror dome feel or a Ash versus type scenario. Now, if you know Terror Dome, you know how classic. That's kind of what the whole horror movie display I want it to be. It's kind of like a, a Terror Dome feel. I know that we're missing a lot here. I know we're missing a lot. Jason, a pumpkin head. I could go on forever on ones that we need for this display. Leatherface. But most of my horror movie characters are halfway across the dang country. It takes me a lot of money to ship them across. So right now, I've got a few other horror movie characters that I didn't fit in here. But for right now, these are my favorite pieces that I got when it comes to horror movie NECA. What other companies making horror movie? I just seen that uh, Toy Fair, there is a cool company called Trick or Treat making some cool things. But for right now, it's mainly NECA, right? So I didn't want to title this and just pretty much say NECA Horror Movie Collection. This is just a horror movie icons. But at the same time, NECA is the one that makes all of these anyways. Shout out NECA. Y'all have really been stepping up y'all's quality a lot, a lot over the years. I gotta say this ghost face, quality on this ghost face is just mwah, miraculous, beautiful. Now this display, beautiful, crispy, clean. What more can you ask for, my friend? Now on that note, I think it's a wrap. What else do you need? Jason, Leatherface, we need a lot more. But for now, this is how we're doing it. I just, we're just casually displaying some figures. And that's how we do it. Now, I hope you found this video informative. I hope it inspired you. I hope it inspired you to create something. Do good, be good. Eat your fruits and vegetables. Happy October. Whoop, whoop. <laughs>